Hi family and friends, Honey Do here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a little quick whip and chat with you. I um, want to introduce introduce my new whip. So my new whip is going to be this orchid. So this is going to be for my mommy. This is the one that I'm going to be doing. Um, I actually started it, but as I started it, I didn't, I didn't finish kitting it up. So what I was doing was I just left my um, little baggies inside my containers from Dollar Tree. However, I kept having to search in this container because I use this container to hold my orchid right my orchid project so I have the containers and they were sitting here and so they were blank right so they were blank up here I'd go to reach in and I'm like where is that number and I have to keep lifting it up and looking and I was like nope not going to work for me so as many of you know if you're not new to my channel I still am looking for my niche. I'm still looking for how I'm approaching things. So as I was going, I thought, oh, I'm just going to leave the bag in. It's going to work out. Nope, it's not. Now I'm going to just go back in and kind of just put these labels on here. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to chat with you. Yeah? Yeah. Um, how was everybody's week? This past week, this past week for me was a very thankful, full, F U L L, week for me. Um, last weekend, so about my mom, she has several health issues, but last weekend, so this one thing, yep. I'm not putting this code. I'm just putting that one. So last weekend, my mom, so let me take it back to May, last weekend of, last week of May, the last Wednesday of May, my mom had lost her vision in one of her eyes. She was losing eye her vision just due to cataracts in both eyes, but one eye ended up just gave us a little scare, right? So here we are, we're trying to roll out different things, blood clots, all this different stuff, and no answers. We went to the ER on Sunday. I'm going to share something with you guys. I went to the ER on Sunday. I was freezing. I did not bring any... I didn't wear sneakers. I wore flip-flops. But, a little bit that you guys don't know about me, I like to crochet. So, I'm just going to share with you really, really quick. I watched a video from YouTube. And it was of a one-hour slipper. Make one-hour slippers. And... For me, it took four hours, but we were at the ER. I had time. And so I went ahead and searched it on YouTube. And this gal named Christy Simpson, she's on YouTube. All Free Crochet is um, this the YouTube I found her on. She did a video of one-hour slippers. So I'm like, sure, why not? I'm here. I made slippers, guys. I crocheted one hour slippers. So I still have to tuck these in. But hello, I did it. And of course, the color of this is time. I always have time. <laughs> so a little, little insight for you of me. So back to the ER visit. The ER visit, we went in at 
got there at 1.30, checked in at 1.30. We did not leave there until 9 p.m. We waited for about five out, no, I'll say six hours. Six hours to be seen. We were only back there for just enough time for them to do some machine on the eye, a CAT scan, different stuff. Just one other stuff. Like it was like a CAT scan, eye, like two eye tests. Well, we get sent home that whole day in the ER thankful that my mom is okay. She just can't see. Um, <laughs> go back. We get an appointment Monday morning, 845. I had to attend that one, right? I had to because um, I need to know what's going on with my mom. So, I go Monday. And um, excuse the noise in the background, my neighbors are having a party. My other neighbors. <laughs> my neighbors are always having parties, right? <laughs> um, so we go Monday morning and we dilate her eye, take a look. She can't see how they test you on those. They put the letters up. She couldn't see. It's kind of scary. Um, and we end up being told we don't have answers. No answers. We don't know. They even scanned her eye. No answer. Um, they ruled out a blood clot. So a couple weeks ago she was um, tested positive for a blood clot. We ran to the hospital that day and tested that. She didn't have a blood clot in her main arteries which are in her legs that's the most important vein like if you have a blood clot positive test positive if it's in your legs that's where it's concerned because that goes to your heart right but we were thinking maybe the blood clot is in her eye because she can't see anything well that was that was a Sunday ER they said no we don't that could be it but we can't tell uh, Monday, no, it doesn't look like there's a clot in the eye, but there could be an, it could be further back. Did a scan, can't find anything because her cataracts is so dense that they can't figure it out or can't look past it. Well, Tuesday, thankful for my daughter's father, G-Man was able to take her to the doctor's that following day they dilated her eye again no answers can't figure it out this was a different doctor oh well we're gonna have to see her again on the Thursday this past week um, okay well I still can't take the time off because I had Wednesday off so Monday I took off the morning I had to go to work Tuesday. I took Wednesday off because it was my son's graduation day. Congratulations to him, right? Um, and then Thursday, thankful to G-Man again. He was able to take her to that appointment. Now keeping in mind, my daughter's now out of school, so he has my mom and our daughter. <laughs> uh, goes to this appointment and no answers so she had a previous appointment scheduled or a previous surgery scheduled for June 25th I screwed up on that one June 25th for um, cataract surgery right we have that we were going to do the left eye but seeing that her right eye has gotten worse we're going to work on to my understanding, we're going to work on the right eye. Getting the cataracts removed. Um, 
to figure out what is causing her to not be able to see. My mom's a diabetic. We, my mom didn't see all the signs that we can tell that it's related to diabetes. So, we're still trying to figure all that out. Um, thankful that she's still able to talk. She's kind of losing her hearing, but for the most part, she's, you know, she's here with us. I keep screwing this one up. She's here with us, so that's all that matters, right? She's still here. Alive and kicking. I love my mom. My confession. Sometimes I'm not very nice. And I apologize. I don't apologize often because I don't need to, but I do apologize because I'm not very nice sometimes. And it's, I guess it's all the daily stresses and all of that jazz, but I shouldn't. So I pray for patience. Work hard, pray harder. <laughs> it's my motto, work hard, pray harder. I have that on my checkbook. <laughs> I have them on my individual, whoever writes uh, personal checks still. You would get that on my personal check. Work hard, pray harder. <laughs> Three, two, six. Okay, let me not screw this one up again. Three. Eight, three, six. I'm just gonna leave that. So that happened. So that was uh, so. Mom went again on Thursday, and still no answers. We're gonna do cataract surgery. I'm hoping that it's gonna be moved to the right eye and not the left. Still something I need to follow up with. But yesterday. I took the day off as well. So I've been out of the office a lot. So thankful, full, F-U-L-L, -L, thankful, week, right? So my coworkers got my back. Thankful for them. Thankful for G-Man. Thankful for my best friend. Thankful that my son and his determination to keep going and getting his high school diploma you know, I'm very thankful. You gotta be thankful. You gotta stop and count blessings. Everybody's going through something, but there's always something good. Even in the bad, right? Even in the bad. So, yesterday I took off. And we went to Knott's Berry Farm. We had a blast. We had a good time. Um, got there a lot later than what I was hoping, but we made the best of it. I ate what I could. <laughs> I think I go to the amusement parks for food, I think. Just because this one's not going to work either. I screwed this one up. Um, yeah, so that was my week. Busy, busy. Hospital visits, doctor visits. I'm not I'm not present on some of those, so it makes me feel like uh, I'm missing something. Like I'll be like, okay, put me on speaker. Hey doctor, this, this, and this. When are is this happening? Well, Thursday I didn't get to get on because I was so busy at work. Thirty four. So, I don't know. So, Knott's Berry Farm yesterday. Good times. Memories, right? Memories in the making. Um, so, the last time we went to Knott's Berry Farm was 15 years ago. My son was three. And I had took a picture of him with this with this shark <laughs> we spent not the whole like not a lot of time on it but we spent some time looking for this shark because I wanted to remake 
<laughs> that picture of him being 18 years old and holding the shark fin, how I had it, but how I took it anyway. We couldn't find the shark, which is fine, I guess. Totally bummed. I feel like the workers I asked just were clueless. Can't blame them, though. It's a pretty big park. A lot of things have changed, especially over the last 15 years. 15 years, man. So my son is college-bound. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> college-bound. <sighs> Very excited for him. We've got a few more things that we got to get set up for him. But, for the most part, he's on his way. I asked him if he wanted to maybe take a class during the summer, you know, get started on his credits. He said, no. I'm like, why? Don't you want to get ahead? You want to get ahead of the game? No, my. He calls me my. When he first started to learn, when he first learned to speak, <laughs> I was teaching him, like, say my mommy, like, I'm your mommy, say my mommy, and it just turned into my, so, stuck, to this day, he calls me my, <laughs> my, my mommy, anyway, so he said, no, my, um, I already have an idea of what I want to do, and I said, I'm intrigued. Please, do tell. His thoughts are he wants to get to know the campus more. And he joined this thing, this program called Link. Link? Nope, not Link Crew. That's what he was in high school. He worked as um, mentoring the incoming, the underclassmen. So he's joining the summer cruise. That's what this one's called. Summer Cruise, and that entails him being an underclassman, being taught the ropes of where classes are, where counselors are, what to do, just basically giving him all the knowledge that he needs to be successful in college. So he joined this Summer Cruise, which is, I think, a week and a half. It's a week and a half cruise. You don't really go on a boat cruise, but, you know, that's what they titled it. He just attends the school and meets with everybody. And he learns where the mixers are. He learns where um, all the locations of everything on the campus. So, that's what he's doing. And I could totally see it in his future <laughs> as a upperclassmen being on the summer cruise for the underclassmen. Totally see him being that guy. He's a stand-up guy. I'm very, 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 very proud of him. I could totally get emotional right now speaking of him. He brings me so much joy. I may be speaking in monotone, but he does bring me a lot of joy. Like, in heartwarming. So, yeah. That's that. What else can I chat with you guys about? Um. I, so, I said I started this. I started a couple. And this orchid. And as I was going, I didn't kit it up. This is why I'm kitting it up, right? Finishing the kit up process anyway. Seven, four, seven, two. I want to share with you guys a couple of these colors because I kind of wish I would have got this in a bigger, a bigger, um, canvas. However, I think it's going to come out pretty good, but 
I'm very optimistic. I'm a very optimistic person. <laughs> Procrastinate, but I'm optimistic. So, I'm trying to see. I only got a few of these colors. Right? Who's this color? So, these colors. Are these pretty? Can you see those? Probably not. Yeah, maybe a little. I didn't realize how much mauve. I can't seem to like the mauve family that this canvas is going to be. And I feel like. Oh, this one's a pretty one. I'm pretty excited. There's your mauve right there. <sighs> I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to be finished, actually. <laughs> I'm ready to start, but I'm ready to be finished. Is that a thing? Do any of you guys ever feel that way? Like, oh, I'm ready to see what... I'm ready to start it, but I want to see what the outcome is already. Outcome is already. Please, thanks. Fast forward. Let's time lapse this one. <laughs> Twenty nine. Okay, this is a long number. Hold on one second. Thirty seven forty. See? Twenty nine. Thirty seven forty. This color. Is that a maroon? Maroonish, something like that. Purple. Ah, da, 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 da. Three, five. So yeah, guys, this is all I'm gonna be doing here. I am. Well, that's a big three I did. I am going to probably drill a little bit. Drill. And watch a show, maybe. Um, we're supposed to go to the movies tonight. See, talk about a full week. Thankful. Full. I'm thankful. Uh, we're supposed to watch, um, gosh, it's a new movie. It's a kid movie. I love kid movies. Even if I didn't have children, I think I'd be watching kid movies. I'd yell for hope, but. I could be very loud, and I don't want to do that. Um, come on, guys. Help me out here. Brand new. Just came out yesterday. Oh, um, Secret Lives of Pets 2. Yep, that's what we're going to watch. We're going to watch that one and Pokemon. Yep. I'm hoping that... Um, Secret Lives of Pets, oh, I screwed this one up, Secret Lives of Pets is a cute one, I'm sure it is, because the first one was pretty cute, um, I keep saying, um, um, I try to catch myself, sorry, it's a habit, I'm trying to break, I want to, what was I going to say? So, Secret Lives of Pets 2 and Pokemon. We're going to watch that at the drive-in. We are going to pick up dinner. We're going to pick up dinner. I've been saying I wanted fried chicken since we were at Knott's Berry Farm. Not one, not two, but maybe five. Five people showed me or shared with me uh, the, that they went to this chicken dinner place, that the line was long. We passed by, the line was a very long, but we just got there. I wasn't going to buy chicken. I should have bought chicken. Because when we were leaving, busy and there was a line so since yesterday 
I'm like, oh, I want fried chicken. I, I took a nap while we were riding home. Of course, I wasn't driving, guys, sillies. You're silly. We were driving home. I took a nap. And I woke, I went to, I took a nap thinking, ooh, fried chicken, I want fried chicken. <laughs> and I woke up from my nap saying, ooh, I want fried chicken. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. What does it mean? Cravings, cravings. So, I was thinking fried chicken tonight <laughs> when we go to the drive-in, but my daughter wants Thai food, and when I say Thai food, she doesn't eat all the hot and spicy Thai. She wants the salad rolls. She's like, can I have salad rolls? I'm like, you got it, daughter. You get salad rolls, I'll get spicy drunken noodles. Number four, level. Number four, level, please. It's pretty spicy, number four, level. <sighs> Do you guys like Thai food? I can't eat Thai food all the time. But I sure love noodles. I love soup. I love food. I think I mentioned food in all of my videos. I'm not sure. Who knows? Anywho, I'm getting close to being done here, huh? Yeah. So we're going to be leaving here. I have no idea what time it is. I don't have my watch, which is so weird because I always have my watch on. Do you guys ever feel like weird when you don't have something with you? Like you've missed something? misplay something zero three yeah so I'm not sure exactly what the time is at this moment however I do need to start getting us ready get some blankets in the car get us all nice and sh cleaned up Pope needs a shower because she had taekwondo today uh, busy 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 life so um, yeah, I gotta pack up. Hopefully it's not anywhere around 5 o'clock. Because then I'm gonna be rushing, and I don't like to be rushed. However, I do strive on stress sometimes, which I think it's gonna cause me to have an early death, the type of stress that I have. But I've learned to breathe and to remain calm and guess what I found diamond painting ding, ding, ding. <laughs> this is what has helped me a lot and I'm so bummed that I no I can't say bummed let's rephrase this because these are things that I'm working on right self-care self-help um, not trying to be negative or downing so what was I going to say? So I was about to be something negative right there, right? So what I'm going to say is um, I am so thankful that I found this craft, my new vice, um, that has really helped me with making me stop and just kind of play. I don't even have to play the day. I could just think about what's in front of me and just get done, right? So I'm thankful for that. I was going to say, oh, I'm bummed that I didn't find it sooner. No, I'm thankful that I found it when I did, right? That's what we're going to go with. You got to go to what is good. You got to have faith and trust the process. And just the universe is going to unfold as it should. You know it. Well, guys, this is going to be my last one. Where were you earlier? What? Because I was over here stumbling, trying to figure out the name of the movie we're going to go watch. I was like, I can't call for her because I'm going to be too loud. 
Oh, you hear this in my voice? My voice is kind of going because we've been out and about in the air, in the world. Anywho, look who's here! I'm about to close up shop. I've just finished doing my kidding up. Mommy, Daddy's watch is on my water. Okay. I got orchid. I'm going to start this here in a moment. And... Secret Life of Pets 2? Secret Life of Pets 2 is what we're going to watch. I figured it out after, like, I don't know how long of stumbling. And the Pikachu. Pikachu. Detective Pikachu, right? That felt good. I woke you up, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, thank you for sticking around. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Maybe not a day. Maybe a moment. I'm going to call it a... I'm going to call it. That's what I'm going to call it. Guys, alright. So, take care. Have a good one. You guys know what to do. Be good, be safe, and be you. And now that my daughter is here, she could take it away. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Share. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. I think we said all these things like six times. <laughs> Alright, anywho, you guys know what to do. Take care, guys.